Hello subscribers and uh, new viewers and returning viewers and uh, returning subscribers. Uh, thank you for coming along on this uh, musical journey. And it is Saturday and on Saturday we uh, explore other music uh, with a, a viewpoint of um, if you're on budget and you have a small uh, space in your flat or apartment, you still want to have physical media and uh, this is uh, how you go about uh, getting a, an acquired uh, taste and uh, curate a kind of a small little uh, collection of uh, very different types of music, um, even if they're, yeah, very different types of music. So we're already one, two, three, four, five, we're almost uh, halfway. Uh, through our second set of uh, <laughs> CDs. So today is a uh, big country. Um, I I think I brought this whole, no I didn't, I bought it in a uh, Yeovil. There was a, uh, when you come out the bus stop and uh, in Yeovil, there, there was a record shop there. And I think I bought it in there. It was two for 5 99 or something like that. But this is uh, a fantastic album. Uh, just know so many of the songs on it. Uh, this is one of the, my go-to bands that I would listen to uh, back in the day. Uh, let's let's have a look at the track list through the phone. Now that's what I call decent sized typos that you can see without squinting and having to really make an effort to looking at. And just so many uh, classic songs on here. Uh, in a big country, fields of fire, chance, wonderland, where the rose is sown. I had that on seven uh, forty-five inch uh, single. I had a lot of their stuff on a uh, uh, seven inch singles and um, twelve inch singles. I had the teacher on twelve inch single, and uh, you had stuff here from um, the fourth album as well. Um, Peace in our time. We'll have a look at the albums over there. But uh, if you just uh, are a casual fan of this band, this is a good album to have a listen to. And, you know, try it out on the Amazon Music Player. Uh, it sounds really good on that. I don't have it on vinyl. And this sounds excellent as well. Yes, it's a remaster. I saw the band live. Uh, I think it was... Kind of uh, on this tour, and the regular jump drummer, whose surname I can't pronounce, I know his first name is Bruce, but I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, you can tell me in the comments below. And uh, he wasn't with them, they had a stand in drummer. And Stuart Adamson was there, and I was up the front at the uh, Semple Stadium in Carlis. And uh, just having a great time, and uh, got the shake. The late great Stuart Adamson's hand, and it was just an absolutely brilliant concert. And I had uh, I had the the teacher, uh, or not the teacher, the seer uh, t-shirt on, and uh, got a lot of looks with that one on. People were looking at it. It's a cool t-shirt. There's all the tracks. They really only have uh, I kind of think they, their first three. There's the late great Stuart Adams. <laughs> and the other members whose names I forget. <laughs> and they haven't they've had several lineups since I know um, there's the main albums, so that's the fourth album piece in our time. It kind of they kind of watered down uh, I think after the seer. And there's the red version of the seer. Or not this year, uh, the crossing. There is a red and a blue and a green version, and the green version looks the best. And that's a fine t shirt as well. Steel Town and uh, the Seer. And uh, th there are three classic albums. And these two, eh, you can take or leave them if you want to. And uh, again, if you're a casual fan of Big Country, this is a great album uh, to have in your collection. And if you want to know a bit more, and that includes uh, two Met albums, you can uh, get this little box set. And um, 
<coughs> Excuse me. You can get this little box out here. That's the last one first. No place like home. Peace in our time. I'm not overly familiar with that one. A little bit more familiar with that one. I remember buying that back in the day. I got this on, uh, where did I get that? I got it on Amazon, I think. Oh, no, eBay, eBay. There's the Sear, there's the three classic albums. And all you really need. And there's the blue cover. I think they have, uh, have t-shirts, various t-shirts. Sorry, I'm mixing all this up. So they're the three classic albums. And they're kind of a twin, another great uh, twin lead uh, guitar band. Uh, kind of Scot Scotland's status quo, uh, Wishbone Ash, Judas Priest, that type of vibe. Less so Judas Priest, but uh, more kind of Wishbone Ashy and uh, um, oh, status quo type thing. And they were big fans of status quo, actually. But uh, that's why, why, why they uh, <laughs> got, that's what, who they were trying to emulate, but they discovered their own thing. And... I highly rate, rate these three albums and that one. But that's for the price that you're getting. You're getting two bonus albums as well. So uh, that's worth getting. If you really like that and you want no more, get that. That's the way to go. And these are all 100% each. And this one is 100% as well. So Stevie G really highly rates uh, Big Country. And they had a, one of the lineups they had was uh, with the singer from The Alarm, Mike Peters. And he did an album with him called uh, The Journey. And I have that, but I lost it in the move. And I actually really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. I'd have to uh, get that. So here we are uh, on our... Um, Musical journey. Put them over there. They're kind of a guest appearance, really. Um, kind of a special uh, ranking, a bonus ranking. We've Guns and Roses from last week. Thank you for all the views on that one. Thank you for all the views on all of them. Texas. Two Scottish bands, Big Country and Texas. Jimi Hendrix. Again, I've got all these in charity shops. This is the missing uh, CD. Uh, it's not in the playlist, but it does feature. And uh, Tim Nizzy. So very much a uh, kind of uh, fans from these uh, islands, so to speak. And Jimi Hendrix uh, actually has been in, uh, lived in uh, London for a little bit. And he has been around uh, Somerset. And I know there was uh, the Bat West show, which was on before um, oh, uh, the, the Glastonbury Music Festival. And himself and Frank Zappa were uh, at that one. So I don't think Tim Lizzy ever played Glastonbury. They weren't in that live aid either. So, <laughs> so this is uh, what uh, this looks like at the moment. Our second uh, set of ten. We're, we have four more albums to go. What albums will those be? I don't know. Um, we shall see as the days and weeks goes goes on. And if you stuck out to the end of this uh, video, well, thank you ever, ever so much. Uh, you've been an absolutely fantastic audience. And again, thank you ever so much for all the views and the comments too. Uh, I appreciate them all. And we will talk to you again in the next video.